All right, Coach, how anxious was the coaching staff and the kids once the dead period expired and the season officially begins? Well, everybody was uh, just kind of chomping at the bit to get back to work. Um, you know, we've had a, a long winter. Uh, we started the first week back, uh, first day back from school, we started and been going four days a week ever since. And all that was running and lifting and uh, ab work and things like that. So the kids were, were tired of doing that and then they got to take a break. and. Uh, you know, when they get back, they were just they were just ready to get to football stuff. So. Yeah. Now you guys have had the first two days a couple of seven on seven. Seems mm -hmm. like you didn't waste too much time starting to get after. Is that <laughs> typical, or is that something? New um, for you guys well, well, sure? the way the rules are now, yeah, we have to if we're going to do seven on seven, we got to get after it pretty quickly. So, uh, Grayson County came to us yesterday, and we did some uh, some work with them, and then of course Butler County was here tonight, did some work with them with our uh, both our varsity and our. Uh, JV and freshman guys, we were able to use everybody. And then hopefully next week, Tuesday and Thursday, we'll be going over Bowling Green High with Coach Wallace with what he does over there with his seven-on-seven -seven stuff. Great. Coach, I know we talked in the spring about how different it is this season, having a, a full year, a full sure. off season. Um, coaching staff-wise, I know you guys have some new people in place. How are things coming together on that front? Great. Um, things have, have come along very well. Um, you know, I've learned – uh, well, I knew this already, I guess, back to my days at Grayson County, getting coaches, quality coaches in place is, is hard to do because you got to have teaching positions and things like that. And, uh, you know, we've, we've brought a couple of guys up from our middle school program. Um, Alan Scruggs and John Williams are new to our staff. They're from our middle school program. And then uh, we brought in Marlo Hazard, who's been coaching at Trigg County for the last couple of years. Uh, Rodney Middleton, who has been the uh, head coach at Caverna for the past three years. Um, he's coaching with us now, and then William Howard, who's been the D coordinator at Central for the past five years, and uh, he was head coach at Barron before that. Um, he's with us now, so I'm extremely excited about our staff. Coach, how do you? Last question: How different do you anticipate your depth chart looks going into that first seven-on-seven seven versus Grayson compared to where you'll be in a couple weeks? Do you feel pretty <laughs> good, or there's some positions in question? Well, there's always going to be positions that are that are up for grabs. Um, I think that with what we do from a structure standpoint to platoon and that makes it that way so that um, you know there's always competition and so our kids are still getting used to that and um, so that that's been still been an, uh, an adjustment for them but you know yesterday and today when we did our seven on seven we let everybody get as many reps as possible so that's what it was about and then as we get closer to the season we'll start narrowing that down somewhat all right thanks coach appreciate it all right thanks for coming out